Well, I knew from previous experience here in Colorado that, it, that the growing season is very short. Then something like a dome made total sense as a way to kind of protect yourself from the elements and maybe extend the growing season considerably. Being year round or close to year round was a tremendous boost to be able to get these greens that we have even now here the 1st of December. Yeah, and for me, it's also the critters. You know, we have a lot of deer and other things, fox and the bear even comes through. So it's all protected here. They can't get it. And that's a huge difference. I never imagined you could have a garden at this elevation. And we knew that here at 6,500 feet, we know that we have some ferocious winds from time to time. And so something like the dome made total sense that it would be very able to withstand the winds. The dome is a great, a great uh, shape, I think. I wouldn't do anything else. It's, it's magical. There is something, Buckminster Fuller knew it. There's something about a geodesic dome that is beyond the sum of the parts. It has its own energy. And to walk in here when the sun is coming in a little bit earlier in the day, it's just, you just, have sort of a rush of happiness, really. You can do designs that are passive solar thermal, and this the geodesic dome that Growing Spaces produces is one of those. And uh, we also wanted something very aesthetic here for the farm. We wanted something that was beautiful, that looked at things. And to tell you the truth, this is arguable, but a geodesic dome out here in this space its spherical design, the efficiency of that combined with its beauty was a natural for yeah. a greenhouse for the JCC farm. It's, it's a natural vortex that pulls you in to just enjoy the serenity and peace of what's here. Keeping fish, more than a couple of goldfish in a growing spaces tank requires a little bit of filter work. What we have here is a combination and a giant version of what you'd see on a home aquarium or somebody's backyard koi pond. So by running the biofilter, we can take the nitrate level up in the tank from feeding the fish and then up to a level where the drip irrigation, that becomes a wonderful source of nitrogen for irrigating all the plants in the dome. Yeah, I was considering the, you know, the more traditional uh, greenhouses, you know, long rectangular ones. Um, but I just really fell in love with the, the grow dome, you know, the geodesic shape and added equipment that they have, uh, the automatic vent openers and the air um, underground air system in the pond. And uh, it's just really unique and different. And um, that's what I was interested in. I always wanted a greenhouse of some type so I could extend my growing season. And we looked at different varieties, the square ones, the hoop ones, didn't like the hoop ones at all. The square ones just didn't have the, the beauty or the aesthetics that, that I was looking for and I came across these. Live in Durango and Pagosa is 60 miles away so it was an easy go visit and it's a local company and so we decided to, to go with the growing spaces, growing domes because of the way they're structured, the way they're, they come together and the feeling that you have inside whenever the wind's blowing or the weather's bad outside, you don't have that square blocky feeling.